Hath God said? In the Garden of Eden the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Careful consideration of what took place in the Garden of Eden gives us great insight as to the tactics used by Satan in an attempt to, as the Bible states, devour the servants of God. In the Garden of Eden, the serpent questioned Eve, Hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Eve, after reconfirming the fact that God had commanded that certain fruit not be eaten, and that disobedience would result in death, was deceived by the serpent. She was told that disobedience to God's commandments would not result in death, but instead that she could be as a God and know good and evil. Truly, there is nothing new under the sun. Satan knows that the commandments of God are sure and that they stand fast forever and ever. Yet today, just as in the Garden of Eden, he continues to persuade mankind to question those commandments. One of the best examples is found in the fourth commandment. Hath God said, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy? Yes, God did say that, and He wrote it in stone. Satan knows that, yet in an attempt to destroy man, he still persuades, Ye shall not surely die. You can be as God and decide what is right and wrong. The fourth commandment is a test of obedience, and each individual must choose whom they will serve. Will we believe the lies of the serpent, or will we believe and apply what God wrote in stone? Those who choose to do what God says fall into a very special category. The Bible describes them as saints, they that keep the commandments of God and who have the faith of Jesus. Contending for the faith once delivered to those saints, I'm Richard Reeves with just the facts.